guys, I decided that I wanted to create a new segment on my channel called Ask Ali, where you guys can ask me questions and I will answer them every so often, maybe once or twice a month, probably once a month, in a video. It will be uploaded kind of sporadically. So there are a couple ways that you can ask me questions. One of them is through Twitter. Just if you do want to ask me a question through Twitter, I ask that you just put a hashtag, which is just the number sign with Ask Ali, and that way I can just like insert that hashtag and look at all the questions and be able to answer them or choose pick from them. So you can ask like on Twitter. You can also ask on my Facebook fan page which I will link down below. Since this is my first video for Ask Ali, you can just insert a question down below in the comments and before every video I will go through it and kind of choose the questions that I want to answer. It can be about anything. Life, dating, boys, um, makeup, especially related questions. So you can just go ahead and ask any questions you like. I went ahead and picked a couple questions that I wanted to answer today and I hope you guys enjoy. First question I'm going to answer is by Jessica and she asked, how did you decide to start making YouTube videos and do people at your school know? Um, I started making videos on September 11, 2008 when um, I think all of my grade was away on this camping trip and I do not like camping, I'm not a camping person, so I stayed home and my friend stayed home and we went shopping and at that point I had found lulad 81s videos who I absolutely adore and um, I kind of just started making videos of what I purchased from um, that day. As of right now that first video is privated just because it was incredibly embarrassing but uh, I just started because I was bored and decided I wanted to film a YouTube video. At that point there was not many people, all that glitters 21 had less than 20,000 subscribers and um, Everyone was just kind of just starting out, so I was like, I don't want to say I was one of the first, but I was definitely here from the beginning. And do people at my school know? People at my school do know. Um, hi, everyone. I'm going to insert some pictures of my friends who keep requesting shoutouts in videos. So, hi, everyone. You know who you are. Um, my school knows. The teachers know. Everyone knows. And everyone is incredibly supportive. And if they aren't supportive, they just don't really say anything about it. But, um... I know a lot of people at my school watch, so I just want to say thank you all so much for being so supportive. It's so much better than having to be worried about videos or being bullied about. In the beginning there were a couple people who were mean about it because they didn't really get it but as they've seen me grow on YouTube and see what I actually do it's just been amazing. So thank you everyone at school. You don't know how much I appreciate you guys because I know some of my friends on YouTube have gotten bullied by it and I can't imagine going to a school that I love and just being bullied for what I love doing in my spare time. So thank you all so much. An anonymous person asked, I want to place a Sephora order. What five things would you recommend? So I got some of my favorites and I wanted to show them to you. First thing is the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. It is much easier to find. I was actually at Sephora a couple days ago and they had tons of it in stock. This is just a really great palette for everyday neutral eyes, everyday dramatic eyes. I went to a party on Friday and I just used like some darker shadows, it looked amazing. The next thing is a blush by Tarte and this is a new favorite, it is a, the uh, Amazon, Amazon, uh, Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. It's kind of like a bronzer and blush in one which I really like and it's just like this color so I'd really recommend that. Next one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and again I use this, it's the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray by Scandinavia, Scandinavia and Urban Decay. I used this when I went to party Friday night, my makeup through everything lasted and so definitely recommend this just for like an everyday setting spray if you just want to make sure your makeup stays because your makeup doesn't budge so this is amazing. The Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, it's just a great everyday primer. It has a little bit of champagne color so it really warms up your skin, uh, your eyelid skin and you can also wear it alone or under your eyeshadow to give a really nice finish. And the last thing I don't have because it's at school but it is my Benefit Hula Bronzer, all time favorite bronzer, not orangey at all, just really looks good on your skin so I'd recommend that. Samantha June asked, if there was one MAC product that you could only have for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? MSF Natural, hands down. I am medium plus. It is amazing. It sets your makeup, makes you look flawless. So, hands down, the mineralized skin finish natural. Brianna McKinnis asked, what is your diet and what is your favorite clothing stores? What do you want for Christmas? My diet is, I stick to a lot of vegetables, a lot of lean protein. I eat mostly chicken. I haven't had red meat in so long. I eat mostly chicken. Um, I don't like fish, so it's mostly vegetables, chicken, whole grains, hummus. I am addicted to hummus. Just like very clean foods, lots of fruits and vegetables. I am a junk food junkie. I love pizza, I love fries, I love everything, so that is a big weakness of mine. But on the most part, I do eat a lot of whole grains, lean proteins like chicken, vegetables, fruit, um, just stuff like that. I try to stay away from like fatty stuff as best as I can, but I am human. I do cheat a lot of the time. Um, especially lately I've just been cheating a lot but uh, most of the time I try to stick to my diet. What is my favorite clothing store? H&M. H&M um, is my favorite clothing store as of lately. 
And what do I want for Christmas? I want the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I think it's the middle size, either the PM or the MM, just the middle size, and the classic monogram print. And then, in addition, um, I kind of really want a Clarisonic Mia. I have to plug in my computer. Clarisonic Mia. Of course, that's materialistic things. If I could have like world peace and no animal cruelty and everyone's fed, that would be like obviously what I'd want. But since that isn't something I can get for Christmas, materialistically is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's what I've been lusting over since last year, so Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Anna asked, do you like Christmas a lot? Like, are you one who loves decorating and all that comes with it? I do love Christmas. I love Christmas shopping. I already started. I love uh, Starbucks holiday drinks. I love Christmas movies on TV every night. I just love everything about Christmas, so I'm definitely a Christmas person. It's not even, like, getting gifts or anything. It's the whole, like, wrapping presents and drinking hot chocolate and watching movies and by the fireplace, so I definitely love Christmas a lot. Oh, this is an interesting question. If I paid you $100 to trample and stomp all over my face for one hour, what would you do? Uh, give you your $100 back and call the mental hospital? Um, Fancy asked, how many children do you want to have? Um... I'm 16, so I still have a lot of time to think about this, but I kind of want a boy and a girl. I know, like, I, well, you could technically pay to choose it, but um, I don't think I would ever do that. But I do want two kids, max three. Yeah, I can't see myself having more than three kids. Uh, I, have, I have a little sister, and I like having one sister. It's quiet. Um, we argue sometimes, but it's just I can't imagine having more brothers or sisters. I kind of wish I had an older brother, um, just because I think they're, they would be really fun. I know everyone who has an older brother is going to be like, Ali, you're crazy. Older brothers aren't amazing, but I do kind of wish I had an older brother just to kind of, I don't know, to have one. And um, I sometimes wish I was the oldest, but I am the oldest. I like being the oldest. It kind of sucks sometimes. So if, when I'm having a family, I think I'm going to tell my husband, because um, like, I don't want to hold Jim Bob and counting 19 kids and counting situation be like I'm gonna have max three kids and then tubes are being tied. Miss Kathy 09 asked do you are you planning on going to college if so what are you planning on majoring in and are you thinking of studying abroad? Um, I'm going to see Jeff next year if you don't know what that is feel free to look it up on Google. I am not quite sure myself it's basically like a post graduating high school place where you can go for two years and then you go to university in Quebec. Um, I am going to see Jeff which is like a college I want to major in broadcast journalism. My main goal is to be on like CTV or CBC or something like that, kind of like Emily Noel 83. And I don't think I'd st be plan on studying abroad unless abroad includes the United States because I don't think I could see myself studying in like Paris or Italy, even though it's great and I think that's amazing. It's just not really for me at this point in my life. What up? 03 asked, what's my favorite movie to watch in the wintertime? Hands down, Elf. You can't get better than Elf. It's the best movie for wintertime. Butte Burnett asked, where do you hope to see yourself in the next five years in both your YouTube and personal life? Well, I'm 16, so I guess that would mean I would be 21 or 22 in five years. On YouTube, I hope I am still on YouTube. I hope I'm still making videos. Maybe, um, I hope I become a little bit more successful. And then in personal life, I hope I'm in a, like, a good relationship. I hope I'm maybe interning or um, have a steady job. I just hope I'm happy. That's what I, I, I hope to see myself happy in five years. And for the last question, Kaya Akfale, sorry if I say your name wrong, asked, when, when is the legal driving age in Canada and what kind of car do you want? I actually just got my permit. I am 16 years old. And in where I live in Canada, you can get your permit at 16 and then you have to wait a full year to get your license. So I'm going to probably be getting my license when I'm 17 years old. And when I get my license, I'm really hoping that I get a white Jeep um, with a big bow on it in front. Um, I really want a white Jeep or a black Jeep with black interior or cream interior. Black, black on black or white on white, white on cream, whatever. That was my first Ask Ali segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I will list all the information down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them on the comments, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Formspring. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.